Hey everybody, Troy here. This is another tutorial for This Is Amazing Grace by Phil Wickham. Um, we play this song in the key of G at our church. We actually just started playing it like a couple months ago. I played it at other churches many, many times, but we play it in the key of G at our church. And the previous video I uploaded for it was in the key of A. had a bunch of vibrato on the guitar like the whole time. But the idea was to try to cop the synth. So if your guitar was buried in the mix, trying to sound like a synth, it would sound okay, but push it forward in the mix with a bunch of vibrato, especially the depth that I had going on that, sound terrible if you push the guitar forward in the mix. So this tutorial is kind of designed if your guitar is pushed more forward in the mix, you're more of the lead style guitar player with no track pushing that hook for you because we don't play the tracks. Um, so what I did is I decreased the depth effect on the vibrato to kind of limit the wonky sound, but it still gives it that sort of synth style feel if you're trying to cop the hook. Other than that, just kind of played around with some movement in the rhythm parts to try to help create some, you know, sort of texture, I guess, a little more movement to try to um, kind of cop the record a little bit uh, so it's not just straight up chords. There's a little bit of um, hammer-ons and some walk-downs and stuff like that. So um, not that you guys need another tutorial for this song, but I just I kind of want to upload this in the key of G since we do that, do it in that key now. I uh, hope you guys find it helpful. If you have any questions, shoot me a comment and I'll do my best to help. Okay, so before verse 2, I get a lot of questions on verse 2. Just wanted to clarify some things. So it's a dual delay, and you pick just one time. It's bop, 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 bop. So you're picking like that. It's not any more than just one downstroke, but you're kind of uh, being aggressive, staccato, uh, on two strings with the dual delay effect that I'll put the link to in the description below to grab it out of Dropbox if you want the dual delay setting that I use in the timeline. It's that plus a little bit of reverb, not too much, because too much reverb is going to kill the delay repeats. And it's um, octave with a, an emphasis on the high octave. And that's going to give you that sound, the da 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 with this kind of splashy octave thing going on. It's a really actually kind of cool. Add on top of that some vibrato, and that's where you get that really kind of strange sound. Um, and it's bridge and neck pickup together, which will give you that um, combination of high end and low end. So clarity, but round at the same time. Neck pickup, I feel, is not defined enough in this regard. Bridge pickup is too trebly, so I just kind of keep it in the middle. And it seems to work pretty well. So I hope that, I don't mean to interrupt the video, sorry about that, but I hope that this helps kind of explain that part. And then you can watch the setup video, the quick lesson in tones used video, to get even more in depth on how the effects actually are working together and which ones I have on. So, sorry for the interruption, here we go.
is the king who conquered the grave. Worthy is the lamb who slain.